chemotherapy is a form of uh, therapy for cancer where medications are infused through, through, the, uh, through IVs into the body to help kill cancer cells. We have many types of chemotherapy and for testicular cancer we use certain types of chemotherapy. Now not everybody with testicular cancer will require chemotherapy, but in general uh, situations that may use chemotherapy would involve cases where testicular cancer has spread to other parts of the body, most commonly the abdominal area or the chest. However, if there is spread of chemotherapy, or I'm sorry, spread of cancer to those sites, then we may refer you to a type of doctor called a medical oncologist. And these are doctors who deliver chemotherapy uh, for the purpose of curing the disease. Chemotherapy is highly effective for certain types of, of testicular cancers uh, and <clears throat> is delivered over a course of several cycles. And then the medical oncologist would counsel you on the various types of chemotherapy, the risks associated with those types of chemotherapy. Most common situations where we would use chemotherapy would be situations where you may have a uh, what's called a non-seminomatous germ cell tumor, which is one category of testicular cancer uh, where that cancer has spread to the abdominal region. Now, even in cases where the cancer has not spread to the abdominal cavity or elsewhere, then we may look at certain features of the cancer within the testicle. If we see certain features like uh, lymphovascular invasion, that may increase the risk that there may even be microscopic disease elsewhere in the body. Or if we see evidence of certain types of aggressive forms of cancer within the testicle, like embryonal cell carcinoma, which is one variant of non-seminomatous germ cell tumor. In those cases, then we may also offer uh, chemotherapy. In general, whenever there is spread of, of cancer to, to other areas, then, then we do consider chemotherapy as an option, but um, it, even when there is no spread of cancer to those areas, we may offer it to patients. Uh, other options in those situations would include things like surveillance, where we continue to monitor, monitor things to make sure that that patient does not develop further cancer elsewhere or surgery in the form of what we call a retroperitoneal lymph node dissection. This is a procedure that is done to remove the lymph nodes in the abdominal area to make sure that there is no cancer that is present there. So in some cases we will talk to patients about surveillance versus surgery by retroperitoneal lymph node dissection versus chemotherapy. It all depends on the type of cancer you have, it depends on the stage of cancer you have, the extent of cancer you have, and also what happens to what are called your testicular tumor markers. Tumor markers are uh, proteins produced by testicular cancer, and when they are elevated, they generally signify the persistence or presence of viable testicular cancer. In many cases where patients have persistent elevation of their tumor markers, even after removal of the testicle, whether or not there is presence of cancer elsewhere that's visible on a CT scan, then we would generally recommend that patients in that situation undergo chemotherapy. So there are many factors that we look at, but these are some of the general principles and concepts that we use to treat testicular cancer.